Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. Okay, we made it to Thursday. We're going live with you, the Haas, at 12 p.m. That's that's today, Thursday, at 12 p.m. I'm just waiting for her to join. We're doing a, a continuation of our celebration of jewelry. So I'm really excited for to just learn more about her pieces. She has tons of new things happening and new pieces. I, I had the pleasure of seeing her in person and touching her uh, beautiful new cuff bracelets and some admiring some new rings. So I'm excited for you to see them as well. Um, we're just waiting for her to come in. I am going to put a comment in here um, and we will get started. I'm having a little bit of internet issues, so bear with us. This is waiting for Judith. Uh, and we will see. I'm going to put this comment. Okay, we're going to hang out with Jewel, with Miss Judith, and we're going to say, let's do, we're going to say, hang out with us for jewelry tr dress up. And let's, if you have questions, we love those. So if you have questions, pop them in the chat as we get going. If you want to see things more up close, um, you can put that in the chat if you want to know about sizing or different colors of metal. Uh, that's also really fun for us to answer. So I'm putting that straight up. I wrote questions wrong. Okay. I wrote this here. We're having, there we go. Post that and we'll get you guys going here. Welcome. Welcome everybody. We're waiting for Ju Judith. Judith Judith in Dutch. So, uh, she hails from Brooklyn. She's been here many years and is an artist here, kind of down the street from me, actually, in Brooklyn, New York. Here she is. And here she is, Sweet Pea. And it was that she originally, though, is not from here. She's going to tell us more about that. Hello. I, here we go. There you are. Welcome. Hey, Megan. How are Hi, you? Sweetie. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Welcome. And um, it's so, such a pleasure to see you again, uh, virtually, even though we've seen each other in person recently. But um, tell everybody who you are, what you do, and we'll try to try on tons of stuff today. Hi, I'm Judith Haas. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I uh, am joining you this time uh, from my studio in Brooklyn. I'm in uh, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Um, I did uh, IG Live with uh, Megan before, but uh, mostly I did it from my uh, home and another place in Brooklyn. So this is the first time from my studio, so I'm excited to be here. And thank you for having me, Megan. Uh, Megan. I'm excited too because people get to see your studio a little bit, which yeah. is super fun. And you brought a ton of new jewelry, so I'm really excited for that too. Um, you make up, you make a lot of different types of jewelry, and you use different materials. But you are, you do use a lot of traditional uh, silversmithing techniques, goldsmithing techniques. How, tell everybody a little bit about your jewelry, and maybe we can see some. Yeah, so I make uh, uh, mostly uh, fine silver uh, jewelry. Uh, it's a technique called kumbu that uh, is a fusion of uh, silver and gold that uh, gets attached with uh, heat and pressure so there's no soldering or anything uh, like that involved and um, uh, these ones uh, uh, you know i also sometimes oxidize this here's an example of it uh, this one is especially Ooh. this is my newest piece so I see that that has uh, silver and gold and uh, it's fused together and then partially oxidized. Ooh. And these ones you can easily adjust yeah, them. It's a blackening, right? That you put on. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're drawing with, in a way, I think. Yeah, the the gold is kind of attached. At the, so it's with this technique, you just pressure the gold on there. Uh, so there, it's just a agate stone and then um, uh, it fuses together. Yeah. <laughs> To use a stone um, as a knife tool, that is like H-O-T, that is so cool. <laughs> like, yeah, this one looks like a knife. It definitely gave me some trouble when I was trying to bring it in a plane. <laughs> you wouldn't think of it, I, right? It doesn't crack under the heat. It's cool enough to hold the gold and be really Yeah, delicate. exactly. And when it gets uh, too hot, you have to kind of separate it again. But it's a, uh, yeah, it's a stone. So it, just like metal, it, it doesn't get hot like metal like that. You look like a chemist too, in some ways, because you use all these 
um, metal surf. You play with the metal surface in a lot of fun ways. Yeah, yeah. I love that uh, when you get these different colors, then you can make some sort of a bit like a painting, right? So my art is, uh, my jewelry is inspired by uh, uh, fine art from the, yeah, from the beginning of the 20th century, like Mondrian and uh, Klimt and also this, um, this uh, uh, movement called the Vienna Workshop, where there is the accent of the craftsmanship of uh, applied arts. So, yeah. Oh, so beautiful. And you can see all these elements coming together in a really modern day representation of within your work. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, it's very elegant and it does feel like another world, like a little Art Nouveau from that time period as well. There's a lot of organic elements. It's not yeah. so rigid as say, maybe the more geometric things like Mondrian. Yeah, yeah, I have a bit of both, so yeah. So let me show you maybe some more uh, basics. I also, okay, just go back really quick. I always know you for like bigger cuffs, but you just showed us some skinnier cuffs on this side. Is this a new thing that you're doing? I love the skinny stack. Yeah, this one is new. Uh, so this one uh, has a, it's just very easy to wear that way. It's a sterling silver band. And then uh, this is fine, part is fine silver fused with 24 karat gold. So this one is maybe a bit more uh, Mondrian inspired and set in a, a cultivated sapphire. So it has the same molecule structure as a sapphire, but then um, it's lab grown. And this, uh, I also engraved them with uh, my name, if you can see. Can you see that? And so you did. Oh, yes, totally. I can see the little, I can totally see that, especially as you move it to the side, the sparkle. Yeah. That's cool. So this, where did that shape come from? It is really geometric, too. Even the shape of the actual break, the half circle. You use circles and half circles and cut them up a lot. Yeah, your... yeah, that I do a lot. And yeah. yeah. So there are the variety of patterns. Also, uh, this one is more like a mixture of gold and silver. And then uh, this one is uh, Ooh. more like looks like marble. So it's oxidized and gold. Ooh. I and, love. Yeah, I love to stack these. Right? Ugh. Oh, I love the stack. OK, so I feel like the new half circle one is great because it brings in your graphic elements are now informing the actual shapes you're using in the metal work. You're oh, sure yeah, I know what you mean. They're relating to each other because you've been doing the a lot of surface design. So what is that? That is so cute. This is so yes. easy. A million of those little skinnies. Yeah. So this one is a bit like the one before, but a slightly different pattern. And also these are all very easily adjustable. And this part is sterling silver, so it's quite strong. Mm -hmm. But I love that. I speak a bit of Dutch. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, she said, wa, wa, mui. So please, please say that correctly. Uh, let me see, where is that, does it say? W A A. Oh, but moi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It means, oh, wow, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Yay. No, this is great. So, yeah, those. that's like one of my favorite types of cuffs, though, because they are something you can, they can have a little bit of movement, but the they really fit on you nicely. I like them have a little to be on you and then stack them. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, look at the I'm biggie. Sure there's some uh, bigger ones. Maybe some of them you've seen before. Some are like my permanent collection, like this one. Uh, so even though oh, this one is yeah. bigger, it's still it's easily like adjustable. Classic, classic you. And you do a lot of, look how beautiful, beautiful. How do you make these design patterns? This is like Empire yeah. State Building. Yeah, let me show you it's some, uh, I was planning to uh, have everything finished, but I also have some half finished pieces. So that uh, is easy that way you can uh, show uh, how it starts. So it starts like a, a just sterling, uh, just in this case, fine silver sheet. And uh, this is cut uh, um, with my tools over there. 
and then uh, the gold comes attached to it. So you can kind of um, yeah, make a whole pattern uh, when it's still a flat piece. And then in the end, it's bent. So that way uh, it's easy to work on. And then you make the matching. Uh, this is a stud, matching stud that is not completely finished yet. It has just the gold on it. And then, uh, of course, the post soldered. So cute. So that's okay. So just uh, again to talk about materials. So that's fine silver, like a thin sheet that you're then fusing high carat gold to and then burnishing and creating little patterns in. So that's you're getting these different layers of gold and silver coming through that you're Yeah, talking. yeah, yeah. And then sometimes I add black to it for the for treat uh, color tones. And uh, yeah, and sometimes I engrave into it with this uh, tool. <laughs> we got everything here well, in the studio. Power, power tools, yes. <laughs> yeah, let me show you what uh, new earrings I have that match with these. New ear, I love that. So you do. I feel like you do a lot of bracelets, but you do a t you do everything because I even down to I want to say just like shout out straw holders, lockets, like more <laughs> engineers, but you. I feel like your core collection is a lot of bracelets and earrings. Yeah, yeah, I do a lot of uh, bracelets that are adjustable, that are easy that way uh, to wear, and then matching studs. For example, these ones, mm. uh, they are like a half hoop. And uh, uh, I like that studs, they cover the ear hole. So that I like, I think that's more beautiful. So it could be, be like this. Oh, I love that. That's a great one because it has kind of like hoop earring feeling. Yeah. Too. Yeah, and then um, I have these backings so that they sit really well. That up high. Yeah, and you do those in multiple sizes as well because that's like how big is that about? Because that's like a good 1.25. Uh, do you mean the, the backing or the earring itself? The earring itself. Uh, this one is a, a three quarter inch. Three quarter inch. Okay, beautiful. That's like a great size. And then you go, yeah. you put them bigger up to like one point five. Yeah, let me show the other one. If I, uh, if where's I, I have my color somewhere because I was thinking about it because I love, I love that you make stuff earrings that are cover the ear hole but then are still big enough to kind of they really are flat planes that catch the light really well. Yes, look at that color. The black is so elegant with the silver and the gold. Yeah, and the black it makes it somehow also look like it's floating, like it, the black disappears and then you see only the gold on the bottom, which I love. So cute. And then how did you make the, okay, just go to the top here again. How cute is that little tip of black there on that other side? That it's yeah. like, I think that is so, it's a nice design element. Yeah, and it's kind of a challenge actually to make a, ear, a pair of earrings exactly the same left and right. So. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you have the same problem. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I love it. It's really fun. Thank you. Um, Wait, you, did I, I messed, I was, you were going to show us more too on that. Because there was another one with black, is that with black also patinaed or with a gemstone? Because you bring in black gemstones too, I think. Oh. Yeah, this one has uh, onyx. And then in it is set uh, uh, sapphire. So uh, fine silver and onyx and sapphire. And then this one is, uh, is about a half. Uh, no, this one is an inch long earring. I would do actually, you know, this one on the other side of me. And then um, these ones come in all kinds of sizes, smaller, larger, so different one. Those are great. Yeah, those are, cause that's a nice style. I like that. They frame the face. I know what you're saying is you would wear them like in, half circle in. Okay, yeah. how cute are those then with the cuff bracelet with the little half circle? Yeah. yeah, they all match together. And I have some uh, that are hanging. Oh, yeah. Ooh, gotta have the full size. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, different orientation though. This is like also classic and a little bit of movement, a little wiggle. Yeah, this one has been a bestseller. This one. 
Okay, those are so cute. I like the little, because you do rectangles a lot because the cuff bracelet is very much a rectangle. I use a lot of rectangular patterns, so the little rectangles are so cute. Yeah, but uh, I do kind of a variety of shapes because I also do <laughs> these ones. The little circly swirly. So you have like certain, you have certain shapes and then you have certain graphic d details. Do you have like three per pattern? How do you separate them? Are they all, they're not all one of a kind. You do some replication of different patterns. Um, yeah, I try to do at least, it won't be exactly uh, the same pattern, but uh, I try to have always a bracelet that matches with a certain kind of earrings. But I do think that they all go well with each other when it's all silver and gold. It doesn't have to be the exact uh, same kind of pattern or same style pattern. It has the, the effect of a patchwork if you wear them all together. <laughs> I like the patchwork, but you're right because you have like a certain design aesthetic that carries through and with yeah. materials that all matches. There's these ones as well. I like the, is that a black one with a little gold dot? What is that one? Yeah, so these ones, I also use uh, some uh, solid gold. So this one is a solid gold uh, ball, recycled mm -hmm. gold, and then oxidized silver. Okay. So very easy wearable. Yes. I can see people buying a lot of those also and stacking them. Yeah, and then these ones were like that that would match with that earring and the silver ones they still do they still have pattern on them with the bigger silver one right there yeah so these have the still the engravings on them uh that uh i make with the tool i just showed before so um the, yeah depending on the lights they will be different and um That's before, Draw with the tool by hand, like making the surface patterns. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a lot of fun. And uh, before I forget, you mentioned before that I have uh, also a locker necklace. So I wanted to show you this one. I love this. So cute. Yeah, I love it. I've been making a lot of kind of container like. Uh, uh, necklaces these days so it right. opens I don't know what you would put in it uh, you can choose yourself oh I love you do make a lot of containers oh I like yeah. it it's nice it's like a big size you use the kombu too because that gold is really beautiful finish on the top there yeah so it matches with a lot of other things that I have is that a little gemstone there too look how cute that is yeah that has sapphire Yes, that is fun. Okay, yeah, that's super fun. Yeah, yeah you said that you used to have the the straw holder necklace, but one is currently sold out. <laughs> okay, straw holder. You did the locket. I feel like these are good, like important things to keep close to you. Yeah, yeah. What would you put in it? I don't know. Maybe Advil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's. That's the kind of thing you don't just throw in your bag, right? You have to keep no, it somewhere. I don't, I don't fun, just emergency. I don't know. What yeah. would you put it? Those stones <laughs> inside, inside. Yeah, or tiny earrings when you're not wearing them. Oh, your little stud earrings for later. Okay, a piece of quartz yeah. crystal. Like put more gemstones inside of it to hold gemstones. Yeah, that you can do too. I've or a little a like secret like note. Secret notes, yes. Your pin also, that would be great for straw holder, like another selling point with a straw holder. It looks like um, you could put notes inside of it also, kind of like shipwreck style. Yeah, exactly. And I was thinking uh, the other day, maybe a napkin you can put it in a straw holder. You know, that one is a, like a longer tube. But I did too, yes! So okay. you don't have to waste, uh, waste uh, paper napkins. <laughs> I like this, well, I, like a little hanky. It could be a hanky holder. <laughs> okay, I, 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 hold, I need a holder for everything. I'm, I'm on the same, 
I'm on the same wavelength as you. <laughs> like, yeah, you yeah, know, you have to always, there's always something uh, you have to bring or forget to bring or don't know where it is. If you really have to know where it is, then that's, uh, this is a good, good one. <laughs> Little containers, cool containers. Okay, so what else have you been making? So I feel like we just, do you want to give us a little tour of the table maybe? Yeah, and, and uh, we haven't talked yet about uh, this. Let me see. Then I have to press Ooh. here. Ah, hello, studio. There you are. Yeah, Hi. so you can see what is on the table. You can still hear me, right? Oh, yeah, totally. Great. Yeah, so I also, besides uh, uh, silver jewelry, I also make um, fine art. And the art is made of uh, different copper alloys that I oxidize. And uh, then uh, they turn all kinds of different colors with heat or with uh, uh, also with um, uh, different like uh, vinegar and salt. So like this, for example, turns a bit blue, just like oh. Statue of Liberty. Yes, yeah. when it gets exposed to different elements and then I engrave into it so the underlying surface uh, shows up again. So um, then you see the copper in this case. Mm -hmm. And for example, uh, that case as well. Mm, look at that. There's so many colors that you get in there from the these, these chemical experiments that you've refined. Exactly, and then some, uh, sometimes I use uh, pigmented patina uh, this was a pigmented patina to add a bit of different colors. That was, uh, and then there are some with uh, earrings that match with that. Oh, yes. Ooh, yeah. of, of course, jewelry related to <laughs> art, art related to the jewelry, it all like works together, right? Yeah, at some point I was thinking I want a little bit more space to be able to, uh, to make what I want to make. And that's why I started the, the fine art. This one has a stamped pattern. So I first do a lino cut and then I print with the lino cut. Can you see it? Yes. Wait, can you show us a little bit up close? So these are like pretty large pieces of copper that you've mounted. Yeah, mounted on wood. And uh, these are one, uh, one foot by one foot. So 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters or so. And then this one is brown, which also has copper in it. And then uh, I engraved into that. Oh my God, they're beautiful. You get, there's so much work and so much detail in each one and it, it translates to the jewelry as well. You can see there. Can you pick that bracelet thing up there? This With one, the, right? Yeah, show us that a little up closer to see, you can see all the details, but wow, wow. Yeah, this one is also new this year. It's a... Uh, uh, so this one Hello. is a uh, brass with a heat patina. So it uh, changes all kinds of colors like uh, pink and uh, black. And then I graved into it and then you see the brass again. Mm -hmm. And then is there a gemstone on there? Or is... Oh yeah, yeah, good that you mentioned. It a, has a piece of uh, garnet in there, in the Ooh. silver. Oh, just a touch of color. Wait, to match the heat patina. How do you get that shiny surface? And is that protective to keep the patina that way? Yeah, I put a clear lacquer over just in case, uh, because uh, in theory it could oxidize a bit, but uh, brass doesn't oxidize that much. It's uh, okay. copper does more. So these ones I have uh, made in copper. So you can see has also a clear surface on it. And then the other bracelets uh, that are a bit bigger, I line them. Yeah. Let's see if I can yeah, show, show us, that. So can you so, show us one below? Yeah, that is great. Look at yes. that. So this one matches with uh, uh, that one. And it is also a heat patina and some oxidation. And then this is lined with felt. And these ones as well, you can make them easily smaller and bigger. And then engraved into it, so you see the patina, uh, the, the brass again. Has some light line work in there. I love your geometric geometric patterns. What's that one underneath it that has a lot of black? It's very uh, 
Craig? Art Deco to the left there, that larger cup, yes. Yeah, this one is uh, uh, inspired by uh, Viennese art from the beginning of the 20th century. <laughs> so kind of Art Deco. Ah. This one, I can show it like that. Oh, that is a beautiful, that is gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. I can't believe it's still here. That color, I mean, you just, can you show it a little bit, a little bit, yeah, show us there. The colors on that, tell me about the, how'd you get all that color? Of this one? Yeah. Or that one? Well, both, because I, okay, the process is so wonderful that you have, these, these are such a good example. They're, you're getting a lot of range of color from different materials, and then you fix them in time with this lacquer or cup. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this one, uh, initially was made with a heat patina and then you have this kind of marbled brownish different colors mm -hmm. and then i added uh the black and then engraved out the the brass so that shows shows again so you have a variety of different blacks and then there's some some green oxidation which i i kind of kept because i liked it so it's also about what i decide to keep and what I decide not to <laughs> this Take one mm. this one has different colors the copper changes all kinds of colors so if you expose it to uh, to different things to uh, to elements like salt and then I, I have it laying around in my studio for a while and this <laughs> then it turns different colors <laughs> Yeah, it experiment kind of on find new ways of adding color. I feel like with the yeah. black, you're getting such a good black. What's the black? You're not using like liver or sulfur. You're getting like a really true black on your fine silver, which is such a great graphic element. Yeah, that is. I think it's a sort of a, a liver of silver. It's an oxidation. It's I nice. haven't talked with you about rings yet. Ooh, yes, let's try on rings. Hello. Yeah, so I have these, uh, I made quite a few rings the last few months. I think you can see them. Mm -hmm. And uh, for example, this one is brutalated mm. um, quartz with a, a 14 karat gold bezel. And mm. then the, the band is sterling silver. And Is that like a split shank there? Yeah, show us that. Yes, Jenny just wrote, said yes ring. So yes, Jenny. <laughs> Anybody, I'm going to just put a call out. If you want to see anything up close, put it in the comments and we'll make sure we get to it. We'll try things on. We're going to do a little bit more try on. And we also are going to, I, yeah, we're going to look at all the rings. Look at all this. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. But I, I want to point out that this ring uh, is uh, adjustable. So you can wear it on different fingers. And uh, uh, it also works as a gift that way. Well, that's and. Good. I also do them not uh, adjustable. For example, this one is a uh, uh, 14 karat gold, a uh, custom made. Mm, what's that gemstone there? You're using a lot, because I, I was peeping on your Instagram, you have a ton of gemstone rings that are being featured right now, really cute. What are some yeah. of the you're using? I can't I, stop, I stop making these. These are, uh, this one is moonstone. Mm. Then I have, of course, uh, this green tourmaline leaded quartz. So it has tourmaline inclusions inside the quartz. And then uh, this one is uh, a rose quartz mm -hmm. and garnet, and then has some recycled gold balls. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, look yeah, at that. Yeah, I love that one. Your colors that you're using are fun because they, they replicate some of the patinas or like these soft. Yeah, yeah, you're so right. Right? I feel like you use Labradorites too sometimes. I... Yeah, that one is, for example, this one. Oh, I called it. I know you use Labradorite. So, <laughs> they match your work so well. Yeah, I love Labradorite, how it's always a different color and it goes well with silver, goes well with gold, with Those black. Ones green patinas in your cuffs super cute yes exactly that is fun okay i love that and you have some new didn't you okay i 
I know this because I saw you in person. Didn't you have a yellow gold ring on that was, you have some- Ah, oh, yeah, good you mentioned that one. Yes, I this, love that. Those are so some this, this one is uh, 18 karat resold and it's also a little bit adjustable. It yep. is uh, open. Yes. And that one comes also in silver, but I think I don't have it that right here. Must have been sold. But uh, yeah, I love this kind of shapes. It's simple. It's not with gemstone, but it has a. It works really well because it matches. Yeah. And then it has concentric concentric thing happening. Yes. So uh, I love that it matches this bracelet and yeah, it's in I love the bracelet up close, by the way, because that, that's a new, you, the new piece, right? Yeah, that one uh, I just finished. I don't know how to put it right and hold the camera. Ooh, that, ooh. I was going to say, you're going to make the half circle and then start building bubbles on it. Oh, you did it. You like read my mind. Hello. This is, <laughs> I love the negative space. Yeah, I love that too. Uh -huh. So this one is going to be one of a kind. I don't uh, think I'm uh, only going to make one of them and that's it. <laughs> but I will uh, keep oh, going so in that kind of style, though. Snatch it up, uh, re retail customers, DM Judith, Judith and ask for that one because that is so cute. I think you're going to make more. I'm, uh, more in that style, but I would like to have them all a uh, little bit different so that uh, they're all unique pieces. And as I make them anyway, um, all uh, one by one, it doesn't matter to me that they're a little bit different. Oh, and so then this is the necklace that will go with it once it's finished. So cute. Oh, I love that. Wait, okay, someone's asking really quickly, any adjustable moonstone or labradorite rings? She wants to see them. Jenny's asking. Jenny, we got you. We love the comments. Any, okay, that's adjustable. Ooh. That is a moonstone, and then uh, it's adjustable. And, um, let me get you the let me get the box of rings because I have more there. Just give me one second. Okay. Uh, let me turn around. Okay. Yes. Awesome. We are here. We are trying to. We love it when you ask us questions. Yes, Jenny, we're here for you. We're going to try stuff on. on. Ooh, that's the lavender. It's adjustable. And Moonstone. And that one also comes in gold with labradorite. Oh, the gold. I would say that's come almost a classic. I've had that one uh, a while longer. The I mean, gold style longer. It's not like it's a kind of permanent collection. I would say this is gold over bronze. Oh, that's nice. So it's pl that one's plated. Yeah, correct. If you have you do have fourteen k and s fine silver primarily, but in the rings you're doing sterling ad adjustable. Uh, yeah, and then I have this one in sterling oxidized. Or did I show that one already? No, I showed the moonstone. Another so, question, she's asking like, she said, I have, she, I mean, all of us do, my hands swell. What sizes about do these go from like six to nine or like seven to eight? Like what's the size range? I think from five to nine and I can, you know, uh, put it already in the right size. They're all adjustable. Mm. I like them like that, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Stunning. I can keep going. Yeah, keep going. This I is a double one that is also a bit adjustable. Yeah. That one has just the uh, silver and gold. And uh, Ooh, that's I can keep a, going. Oh, I like that one. That's a gorgeous ring. Yes, this one is also one of a kind. That is a uh, you know a kind oh, of unusual great. shape. Yeah, with a little like open open work shape at the top there. That's the element. Ooh, that's a moonstone. That one. Correct. Oh, you got all the right answers there. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, ooh, that is a cute ring. 
I like those moonstones a lot. I really like moonstones with your work. Yeah, me too. I, it's mm -hmm. a bummer I don't have more fingers. So this one is uh, the sterling silver version. Oh, beauty. The silver version is gr what a great easy ring to stack with everything. Yeah, and also a bit adjustable. Uh, okay, now I should put some down because I have more. Yeah, this rings. this yeah. what? Sorry. people love the rings. It's so fun. Yeah, this one. It's a moon. Uh, it's a. Are you all already know probably? But this is onyx. Then it's set in uh, fourteen karat gold. It has a bit of sapphire on mm -hmm. top, and also recycled gold here. This is also definitely going to be one of a kind. But it's very comfortable very comfortable to wear right gorgeous i feel like so many choices i feel like jenny uh judith will totally send you pictures and i think they're on the website most of them is that right yeah they are on the website okay because i know you have a but you can uh, uh, direct message me for videos or totally that, uh, that works well. closer wait so go back really quick to show this because that one the one with the black onyx reminds me it really looks great with that earring you have with the black the more eye drop eye shape with the black onyx and the sapphire stud yeah. earring. i have earrings that match with that oh littles oh those are so cute buttons and uh, there is also a bracelet oh oh I, lo I love that you think about the full girl here yes and then there is there is a necklace, yeah. These are all sterling silver or uh, fine silver, but I could also make them in gold. Ooh, yes. Fine I silver. I don't have them in gold, but. <laughs> Wait, they have the fine silver and the kombu with the black onyx, or is it just the fine silver with the black onyx? These are just uh, fine silver, sterling silver, and uh, black onyx and sapphire. Nice. It looks great. Black and silver, like really, I like these color combos. I like the black, gold, and silver too. I think it's really elegant and looks yeah. like an update to bot tri metal look. Instead of putting in a rose gold, you put the black in, it really updates it. Uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, what was I going to say? If you want to see more rings, I have more rings. Ooh, ooh, what's that one? That's a cute. Amazonite. Amazonite is a semi-precious stone, and then it also has this uh, set with uh, sapphire, uh, set with sterling silver, and then sapphire on top. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Amazonite is a really rich color. I usually get them paler. I love that. Yeah, this is a very bright one, right? It's a and that that's a cute ring. Yeah. Definitely. That one also comes as a necklace. Might not be on the website, but I have it. So if people, that's a good question. If people find something on the website and they're like, I don't find the right match, they can contact you and you'll yeah. make them, ooh, what's this? Okay, show us that this is cute. I feel like I saw this, but. Yeah, you must have seen that at one of the art parties. Yes, but now I love seeing it. I, uh, the profile is so cool and I missed that on the website or on your Instagram post. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you cannot see it always uh, unless you see it in video. And this is also quite comfortable that it can go in uh, on different fingers. They're adjustable. I would that say is... from size six to nine or so. Because that'll also change sizes because that's all open, really. Like Yeah, exactly. It's open on the front. That is so cute. Holy moly. Okay, that is fun. Okay, I love that. Okay, <laughs> I like a ring. We're like really doing things. Can we just see, we're like, uh, we're at 1240. I want to see a couple necklaces before we go. Um, and oh, anything yeah. special you want to show us? Yes, I, there are four Ever. things that I forgot. This one I forgot. It's a small little moonstone with sapphire that matches with a lot of the other things that I have. Ooh, that moonstone is so pretty really like that that's a good that will agree with the ring 
and might wear something like that too. That's maybe hard to see. Uh, and then I have a bunch of necklaces that are just kind of easy to wear all the time. I want things that are very wearable and that, uh, that you know, you can wear at any occasion. Yes, but what is this very, what very is this cutie? That is such a cute piece. What? That's a good layer piece. What is on that? It's little. It's all silver and a bit of uh, oxidation. And then the chain? The chain is also all silver. So oh, it has all these little balls. Oh, what a cute, like, what interesting. That this and this happening, it kind of reminds me of your thin cuffs with little things, little balls happening on it too. You have that <laughs> one with the gold ball. Yes, I have a lot of these little ball uh, hemisphere details. Um, with the ring too, yes. Oops, one more necklace, this one. Ooh. Oh, this is a nice shape. Oh, this is really pretty. Classic. Nice, nice size. This is like a great layer. All of these would layer really other. You can start building. Yeah, so this one has all these uh, different uh, techniques in it. Silver, gold. And I love that Jenny just had a great comment. She said it's every day, but it's so unique. It's bringing out so you're because of all the 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 line work and the graphic details you're at. It's not just a silver top. There's beautiful there's also multiple colors in it so you can wear it with all of your jewelry all the time yeah that's what i love about this line it's, it's a different uh uh different has something going on but not hard to match with anything yeah with all like your silver hoops your gold hoops like if you have like tennis bracelets you could put, like pop some like little skinnies in together with the gold bits sparkling like, you'll be able to match everything yes yes it will go with everything you other jewelry you have maybe as well. <laughs> I love that. Well, I like thinking about the person that's like how they're going to stack things, how they're going to wear things, like how people are going to think about like, am I going to buy? I think your customer does this. They buy the matching sets. They'll yeah. think about the with the necklace or the earrings with the bracelet, right? So you you're designing that way as well. Yes, exactly. You can wear it matching, but then if you buy something else, it will also match with it. And uh yeah, it will be unique. <laughs> I love it. So, want to show us a couple more before we go? Like, I know I, I know we missed. We saw a. T I'm glad that we got to do a tour of the table. That was great because we saw a full breadth of your collection. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, this one we haven't seen yet. Uh, these ones. Ooh, ooh! This is so classic with the little. More d delicious, oh yes, this. Little gemstones on those. Yeah, right? these ones have uh, lemon quartz, and uh, then it's fine silver and gold. And I also have these ones that have the pattern similar to the bracelet. And I'm planning to do uh, studs like this uh, as well. Oh, so. I love that. Well, I love that gold and that black too. It's really rich. That color scheme is very Klimtian to me. Yeah, it's a bit Klimtian, but also it has something uh, of Middle Eastern lamps, like little uh, round details. That's, uh, that's also part of the inspiration. Oh, I love that. So, because I feel like you pull from so many places as you bring in all the graphic elements, but throughout your, all your collections, whether it's gold or silver, patina, it all works, it all kind of works together. And you have people that move with you and buy throughout the whole collection. Yeah, that's true. Super. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're coming up at 1245 now. Maybe just say one last thing or show us one last piece and we will bid you adieu, adieu and see you on Monday for a sp super special Zoom presentation. You're invited if you're a boutique. We're having a special fall preview with eight designers, the designers from this week and youth is part of it. Yeah, I'm so excited to uh, be a part of it Monday as well. And thank you again for having me. I think we've seen... Yeah, I probably forgot things, but uh, right now I feel like you have seen most of it for sure.
We saw a lot of great updates. We saw a lot of decor of collection. I love seeing all the new things you've been working on. And again, just thank you so much for sharing. What have a great Thursday. And you too. We'll see, yeah, we'll see everybody here tomorrow and on Monday with everybody. So mwah, mwah, mwah. thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. See you bye. soon. Bye bye. Woohoo.